Donsap said this at the commemoration of the 16 days of activism against sexual and gender-based violence. Violence against women is the most pervasive breach of human rights worldwide. The Ministry of Justice and all other stakeholders in this initiative to speak out against violence against women and children, child rape in particular, and to raise awareness on the rights of women and children and share information on the laws relevant to combat this destructive menace in Namibia. The court and the process of punishment leading to the rehabilitation of perpetrators within the applicable framework while respecting the rights of the accused persons comes only after the harm has been inflicted, she says. The question is, which is also now more pertinent, pertinent than before, is how can we prevent this evil from occurring in the first place? To this extent, the criminal justice sector cannot remain quiet about the possible solutions to this phenomenon. We must think about ways to nip the scorch in the butt and work collaboratively with other stakeholders whose mandate entails the preventative mechanisms. Donsap further encouraged men to take charge of initiatives to stop violence against women and children. Namibia is boasting an exemplary legal framework which addresses all issues relating to the protection, promotion and fulfilment of the rights of women and children. Donsab revealed that the Cabinet Committee on Legislation has approved amendments to the Combating of Rape Act as well as the Combating of Domestic Violence Act and the Child Justice Bill which will deal with juvenile offenders. The bills are expected to be tabled in the National Assembly next year. Emil Sebeb, NBC News, Ventuk.